Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. You probably gonna see a couple or a few videos with me with the same makeup and the same shirt. I am so trying to catch up on making videos for you guys. I've missed you so much. It's been over a week and I am feeling some type of way because I haven't been able to film and I haven't been able to edit. I haven't been able to do anything. So anyway guys, I wanna come to you guys with a haul video. This is stuff that I've been, it's a collective haul for February. So the first thing I did was go to Bath and Body Works and I took my kiddo there because I did pick up a few things for my birthday. I picked up some candles and some um, some of these bad boys and stuff like that. So I ended up picking up a, a couple spritzes and a lotion for her, but she ended up taking them to school with her so anyway I picked up the Paris Amour um, the fra fine fragrance mist and this one smells very florally very like I don't know teenager not my cup of tea but it does smell good so but I know that those are the scents that she likes so I got my kiddo this I also got her something vanilla it, it was like red vanilla or something like that and it smells really really good and she ended up getting the um, Japanese cherry blossom lotion which she took and she took those to school so they're in her locker so I'm not able to show you guys but I did pick up a few goodies for her and I ended up getting two free items um and getting that for her and I picked up two of the same a thousand wishes body spray this oh my god I don't know it's like musky in a sense but I don't know if you guys have this, let me know how you like it. If you don't like it, I love this stuff. I use it before work. I'm just gonna... Oh. I don't know, it just smells good. So I got some stuff in my Sephora bag full of goodies from everywhere. Um, and I went to Walgreens, so I'll show you my Walgreens haul first. Let's see. So the first thing I picked up was at Walgreens. I picked up another Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. I'm gonna need a moment. Well, the ones that have been watching me for a long time and have seen my tutorials, hands down, this is my favorite mascara. This is my go-to. I use this, I've used high-end and I still prefer this one. Now the problem with this is, since January, I picked up one and I started using it. And I noticed that when, I'm wearing it today because I'm just trying to make this work. I noticed that maybe after six hours of wear, I work 12 hour shifts, um, I would feel like my lashes were like balled up on the ends for some reason and I could just go like this and the flakes will go right on my cheek. So my lashes have been extremely crunchy but not only that, when I, when I like even touch them or pinch them, because I was wearing falsies one day and I pinched them and the crumbles were everywhere. Like there was mascara everywhere. Jordana? You have some explaining to do because this was my go-to mascara and this is the second one I've bought since January and I get the same effect. After a while, after it dries out, it just crumples up. It goes on my face. You guys that know me and my crazy ass issues with my mascaras know I do not like stuff on my face and if there is more than one or two flecks, we are going to have a problem. So I think that Jordana changed the formulation of this which pisses me off to no end because I have recommended this mascara to everybody that is breathing around me. Let me tell you how mad I was. And I bought another one because I was like, maybe it was just an old bag. I am so pissed off that I'm giving it another go today, but I don't like the way it's making my lashes look. It's making them look all weird and wiry and it's got like little balls at the end of it. Like I can literally go like this literally can crunch up my lashes and you get a whole bunch of like crust on it. I just <laughs> So yeah, that was my last chance with this. So I will not be repurchasing my Jordana <clears throat> Best Lash Extreme. And I'm feeling some type of way about it because this is my go-to. So RIP Jordana Best Lash Extreme. So Jordana does make some amazing products. <sighs> Don't mind me in the mascara. But I ended up picking up two of one of their newer colors and it's called Rose Crush. I ended up picking up two because you never know. They might just stop selling it. And I have that under my lip look today. It might look a little ashy pink on me, like the pinks that just kind of just look too light. But I love using this under nudes and I've been using it because I love Jordana lip liners and it works. So I have this under my lip look today. It hasn't enhanced or decreased the color of the lip 
the lipstick that I'm wearing. So it works just fine. So I ended up buying three more of their lippies. One, it was an extra one that I didn't realize I already had. And it is matte blush. And I haven't used it yet, but you know what? I love this color so much that I'll just, I'll just keep the extra. Um, but this is the color right here. This is the one that I've opened and used up and all that. And it is a really, really pretty nude. I love it. This is more of a, just a pinky nude um, with no, not too much of a warm tone on it. You can have the peachier nudes. This is more on a pinky, mauve nude. The next color I got was matte style, which is their deeper red. I know they have an orangey toned red, but I ended up picking this one up because, ah, come on now, nudes, hooker reds. We've had this conversation a million times. So that's the red right there. It does look almost like it has a pinky blue tone to it, which is what I like in my red lips, lipsticks. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it right there. So the last one I got was Matte Dare, and it is their vampiest color. And this looks very similar to a lot of the purple lipsticks that we see. So that is it right there. Looks very similar to like heroin. So the next lipstick I got was from Wet n Wild and I lost the sticker. Really? So I got a Wet n Wild color that I don't have a sticker to because it disappeared off the face of the earth. Well, that makes me very, very sad. But anyway, it's one of their newer colors I've never seen before and it's like a rosy, pinky. It's a very rosy, nudie color it's really really pretty i've worn it a few times absolutely love it so i also picked up the wet n wild cover-up base primer and this was i think 3.99 yes this was 3.99 and i have it on my face today and i think that this is a good primer for those that are like not too oily and not too dry i think this is like the perfect mix so if you have normal to dry skin normal to oily skin if you're that combo i think that this is a good um primer it does work i don't know it says it refines pores fills lines brightens complexion even skin tones i just think that this is just an okay primer i'm not giving it all that hype so the next thing i picked up i'm not I don't know how I feel about this. I've been using it for about a week and a half now and it is the Wet n Wild Cover All Correcting Palette. And I think that this is great for someone that maybe is, maybe just has a lot of skin issues, a lot of redness, a lot of like under eye bags, maybe needs some brightening and just to just enhance dull skin. But you definitely need to put this under your foundation. You cannot put this on top. You have greens and you have purples and a bright, bright yellow. Um, this one is to cover, one is to highlight, this one is to normalize, and this one is to neutralize if you have reds and stuff like that. This is more meant for if you have more sallow skin and you need a little bit of brightening. And this is more if you have like those blue veins under your eyes and stuff like that, that that's what it would be great for. And for some of my deep set girls that have those weird under eye circles would be nice to neutralize and kind of brighten with this kind of shade. Um, now I've used them all. Uh, the Illuminator has just too much glitter for my liking. I do pat it on the tops of my cheeks before I apply my foundation, and I do like it, but it's just, just something I won't reach for too much. So this is not bad. This is $4.99. It is a little pricier, but if you are looking for just a correcting palette or something that just is inexpensive, definitely look for the Wet n Wild. These things are very, very drying, so make sure you have your skin that is moisturized. Um, I apply it with my fingers so that it blends easier. You can apply it with a sponge or a brush, but I do recommend blending it out with your fingers so you get more of a flawless look. I do have the green around my face here. I don't think you can see it, so that's always a good thing. And I just have a lot of redness lately so I've been using the green a lot that's been my friend so I so far I like it I think for the price I think it's good so I do recommend that and I have um, used it quite a bit so testing it out I, I like it it's not something I would reach for all the time because I don't feel like I need it but I said hey why not give it a go so I also picked up some limited edition wavy lays these are milk chocolate covered potato chips and I have this is probably like our fifth bag and I bought one bag to try it out with the family and oh my god, these are horribly addicting. Um, I, I'd i say we've been pretty good. We eat a bag of these a week and we just kind of munch on it and we share because it does 
appear to get too much, but these are so tasty. Like I didn't think I would like, I didn't think I would like these so much, but you know, every fat girl's dreams to have everything covered in chocolate. So why not Lay's potato chips? But yes, if you see these, definitely recommend trying these, especially if you like sweet and salty. I personally do not like salty with my sweets. I just don't like it mixed together, but this, it was good. So I also picked up a couple things for my hair because I have been straightening it lately. It is not straight as far as today goes, um, but I have not had the time to straighten it, but I have been straightening it because now it's longer and it's nicely red dyed, even though my roots are growing. So anyway, I picked up two of the Herbal Essence style products. The first one I picked up was from Garnier Fruit Teeth, and I picked up the Sleek and Shine Brazilian Smooth Flat Iron Express what's this called uh this is for frequently straightened hair and it comes with it has brazilian muru 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 butter and argan oil good grief this smells divine fresh and clean it just smells like something tropical uh you just pretty much put it in your hair and then just style it so i needed something like that and then i also this is what i have actually in my hair right now this is the only product i have in my hair is the herbal essence bombshell babe blowout smooth cream um this is the secret to show stopping blowouts with a soft and smooth finish that blows away frizz and damage my hair's still frizzy but it's not as bad as it could be um i think i put too much of this because it's like it needs to be washed and it's only been a day since i've added this product so um this has the lotus essence of God knows what. Yeah, that's what I got at Walgreens. So moving on to the next part. So I went to Sephora and I went to return my hourglass palette and I went throughout the store and I was searching. I was like, what do I want? I don't even know what I want. I really wanted the hourglass ambient uh, lighting powders. I wanted the palette, but they didn't have it. So I was like, ah, whatever, next time around, you know, I'll pick that up. So I got asked if I needed any help and it was more likely because I had a very small bag with me and they probably thought I was looking for something or they probably didn't want me to steal anything. Uh, I was with my daughter and I must tell you, I have been shopping at Sephora for about three years now, like, like legitimately just going in there every time I go in the mall to at least shop, you know, even if it's window shopping. And I've never felt this way before. Like I've never felt... There's like little flurries everywhere. I've never felt the way that I felt in that store that day. And I was completely and utterly ready to lose my shit. I really was. So I found a couple of things that I wanted. I had them in hand and I had my hands full of swatches and I was cleaning them off. Um, only one person said something to me. And in addition to the one girl that just dissipated into thin air, uh, she said that she loves my lipstick. <laughs> anyway, you know, she was helping someone else. I had people bump into me that worked there. No one said a word to me. Uh, they didn't even greet me. They walked on right by my daughter, kind of like, you know, didn't say excuse me, didn't. I, I just don't know. I never felt that way before. And I actually was waiting for over 25 to 30 minutes waiting for a sample of foundation i got i didn't even get looked at like they passed their eyes to me and i never felt that way like i was going to lose my shit because i one thing i don't tolerate is stupidity let alone ignorance and when i'm a customer i have a bag you know i'm obviously in here first of all you're watching me suspiciously which i didn't like but i let it slide i'm like whatever you know it happens it is what it is and i'm getting more and more and more amped up like I'm feeling it I'm feeling upset I'm not trying to show it I'm very very quiet uh finally one of the managers or whatever floor person whatever uh finally came up to me he's like hey uh is there anything I can you know are you being helped and I said no I've I was so angry like at this point all I could say is like one worded answers I said I'd like a sample of this he was like oh we could color match you I was like I just want this shade <laughs> So then he disappeared for 10 minutes and I'm like, okay, okay. Now on top of the 25 plus minutes that I've been waiting, now he disappears and he's probably helping other people. Mind you, I was abrasive enough to say, hey, do you think you could take a moment to help me? And no one even looked at me, let alone say, I'll send someone over or just give me a few minutes. No reply, nothing. And I'm loud. You guys that know me personally know that I'm not a soft spoken person. And I just, I felt like 
utter shit. Like, I was like, why are people acting this way? I'm like, oh, because you have people in here that look like they're going to spend uh, hundreds of dollars? Like, what are you doing? Like, everyone was like, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt that way before. The girls that were super friendly were the girls that were behind the counter that, you know, were ringing people up. And they have to be. I know they do. They didn't treat me any differently than they do any other day of the week when I go there. Um, I know that they were busy, but I've been there on days that the line is out the door and I've never been treated that way. So if you go to the West Farms Sephora and have a similar experience, then there's something wrong with either their people or, I don't know, maybe it's you, I guess. So I just, I don't even know. And if, if you guys can read in between the lines of what I'm saying, then you know. Whatever, that's neither here nor there. So I got a whole crap ton of, of of samples that nobody ever gives me anyway when I go to Sephora. But I don't even care about the samples. Whatever. I will show you guys my very small Sephora haul. So the first thing I got was the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And it is in the shade Patina. And I wanted to, of course, get the Kat Von D... I forgot what color that was, but I guess it's one of their popular ones because it's been out of stock for the, like the last, I don't know, three months I've been looking for it. So this is a really pretty mauve -y, pinky color. I've worn it a few times. I absolutely love it. I actually wore it yesterday and it's this color right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is deep enough, but not, it's neutral. It's just really pretty. It's a mauve -y pink goes good with most complexions it's more on the cool tone it's not warm and I absolutely love it it is soft this is not like a liquid lipstick that gets really really drying on the lips I actually feel like when it w starts wearing off it still feels soft on the lips. so the next thing I got is another Too Faced melted lipstick I have it on my lips today absolutely love it and it is called melted chihuahua now, can we talk about the name melted chihuahua Too Faced what were you thinking? Do you know what it is like to wear this lipstick? And everyone's like, oh my God, Evie, that color is like so pretty. What color is it? I'm like, oh, you like it? It's from Too Faced. I'm wearing Melted Chihuahua. You don't think that's a little morbid? I mean, I'm all for morbid. I am all for morbid. But I don't know. I'm getting a lot of crazy stares more than usual when I wear this lipstick uh, because they want to know what name it is. What's this called? And I say Melted Chihuahua and they're like, like the dog? Anyway, <laughs> so this is the color right here. It is perfect peachy nude. Um, I love it. It's long lasting. These two face, I think this third one I have. I have Fig, I have Nude, and I have this one. Love it. I love it. And of course, this was a color that gravitates because it's like a nudie color. I know I'll use it. Um, they do have a lot of newer ones, and I was intrigued, but I wasn't impressed. So I picked this one up because it's nice and soft on the lips, and I love it. The last thing I picked up from Sephora was the Original Beauty Blender, and I picked up their Red Carpet Edition. I picked up the red because I love red, and my hair is red except for the blonde that's seeping through. But anyway, I picked up a new beauty blender. I have had my beauty blender for almost a year in April, and I take very, very good care of my beauty blender. I really do think that even if it's just that one time you wanna spoil yourself, but you've been looking at it and you're like, I just can't see myself spending $20, just do it. Just do it. You don't like it, return it back to the store. So that was pretty much it for my haul, guys. That's what I got at Sephora. I am so sorry about, one, not filming for you guys in over a week, and two, for that little spiel about my experience at Sephora. But I am brutally honest with you guys, and it just bothers me when I see people get treated like that. I'm done talking about this. Uh, I'm sorry for rambling and raving. This one might be a very long video, so <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.